Hello everyone, it's Yusuf here and I'm thrilled to welcome you back to another exciting tutorial. Today we are diving deep into the world of Revit uh, to explore the process of constructing constructing the, a full 3D bridge. Uh, throughout this tutorial I will be your guide walking through every step of a journey from laying ground work with piles uh, to crafting uh, custom families of beams and pyres, the, the column foundation of the bridge, also to make a road surface and bridge parpet. So, uh, before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe because this is will help me a lot. Also, you won't miss any of my future tutorial. Thank you for watching and let's dive in. First thing I'm going to do is to make a new project. I will choose a structure, metric structural template and I will press OK. Uh, as you can see here, we have default uh, for uh, level 1 and level 2. For sure, we need to change all of this. Uh, I would like to make uh, uh, five levels. First, it will be foundation, uh, pyres, it's like the column structure of the bridge, bearing, deck of the of the bridge or the beam of the bridge then uh, the last level it will be the road so let's make it together uh, first i'm just going to uh, to say that foundation it will be at zero level foundation and make sure to put 0, 0, 0, 0001 so uh, everything will be uh, organized. So second level it will be uh, the uh, pyres or the columns of the bridge. And mm -hmm. then I will adjust the height. It will be 7500 millimeter. Uh, the another level, uh, let's make it more... wider okay another thing i'm going to make a new level it will be the bearing of uh, our bridge i will make it like a half meter so it will be for level 8000 i will make opposite 500 millimeter as you can see here and i will make it so as you can see here it's hard to uh, see uh, our writing so i'm just going to change the scale to 150 or I would like to make it let's try to do it one over 25 so I think it's good let's write that this is 0 2 it's a bearing and then I'm just going to make the deck or the beam of the bridge so I'm going to make a new level or I will press L L on, key on keyboard and it will be 2.5 meters, so 2,500 millimeter. As you can see here, it will be uh, 0, 03, and it will be a deck or the beam as you want. You can rename it. So the the last thing it will be the uh, road of the bridge, and usually like 15 centimeter for the asphalt is enough. So let's uh, make it again new level. Uh, let's make it 150 millimeter, and I will write here a uh, road. Oh, sorry, I didn't. I should also put zero uh, four before, like this. So, so it will be. Uh, organized let's make it little up like this uh, sorry like this and i will move it it will be uh, more good so uh as i told you we have we are now in the structural uh, template if i'm going to floor plans there is no uh, f uh foundation and there is no pyres here so how we can add this we need to go to view, we need to go to uh, plan view, floor plan, and I will select foundations and pyres. And as you can see now, we have them here. And they are organized. 0, zero is foundation, zero, 01 pyres, bearing, deck, road, 
etc. So uh, let's make first the grid. So I'm going to make 90 grids and the offset between them is 8,000 millimeter. So if you want, you can just move this um, like uh, more far like this. And also I want to for this one and let's put the first grid here we will click uh, uh, on the grid or we will press gr it's the shortcut on keyboard i will make the first one and you see it's renamed uh, automatically one i'm just going to make office office it uh, mm -hmm. like i will go to grid make a pick line and i will make the uh, office at 8000 uh, millimeter this is three four five six seven eight nine and that's enough and i will make a grid in the middle like this okay so uh you can make it uh let's make the grid here doesn't matter i think it's, doesn't matter they should be more shorter but it's okay uh, the second thing I'm going to do now to make a uh, isolated foundation, I will click here. Uh, this is the rectangular one that I'm going to use, but I need to make some modifications. So uh, my uh, my uh, foundation, it will be isolated foundation. It will be 12,000 millimeter with uh, 6,000 millimeter and the weights it will be 1200 millimeter so now i uh, i make new one i need to make the modification or edit for the dimension 1200 this is will be 6000 let's say uh, 6000 and this is will be uh, 12000 millimeter i will press apply okay and now i'm just going to hit them like this uh, sorry, I will make one grid have foundation, another doesn't have, so like like this, 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 this. You see? So what now? Uh, if I'm going to, uh, look, I did it on the pyres, so I need to go to the south elevation again, and I will make this, uh, I can make, let's make it wider okay so i'm just going to select my foundation and i will move them to foundation level and this is the right one another thing i'm going to do is to to do like a column structure uh, on our foundation i already uh, draw a cat file so i will put it in the description you can download it so it will be very easy for you to make a uh, a, a found uh, a pyres or foundation for the bridge so i'm just going to make a new family and i will choose uh, metric and it will be uh let me see it will be family metric it will be metric column structure so let's like this and i will make open uh, here i'm just going to the front uh, front uh, uh, front the uh, side so i'm just going to insert my uh, cat file i will go to cat file and this is uh, my uh, my pyre i'm just going to add that this is should be in millimeter i'll press ok and i'm going to move it like let's make this like seven thousand five hundred this is the elevation and i'm just going to move uh, this first it was a pen so i'm just making i need to make it uh, unpen and I need to move it from here to the middle of our uh, our uh, reference line. So I'm just going to go to create extrusion 
I'm just going to select one of this line, press tap on the keyboard, you see it's very easy so I need to think how much the dimension, as so I already uh, draw this in cut file and I'm just going to go to press ok and here I'm just going to say that I want to lock this on place so if I change the width of the of the uh, pyres or the foundation it will change automatically so now I'm just going to say the width it should be uh, let's say uh, we can make it to uh, 2000 doesn't matter I'm just going to say like this and you see it change uh, sorry uh, not the width uh, I mean the depth so if I would change the depth for uh, 2000 so it will change automatically and I'm just going to load it in uh, my project I will go to foundation I will go to column and it should be vertical you should uh, watch out here it will be high to the pyre from the foundation and I will select like this space multiple space to rotate uh, our uh, foundation I will press it like this and I will see what's going on so you see now uh, this is uh, our uh, foundation let's check I'm just going to go to the south elevation uh, and it's uh, it's on the uh, right place always please just try to uh, check your levels uh, at every moment so I'm just going to make copy for the foundation like this again 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 and that's it let's go to 3d model and I think it's good we have some problem it's not a big problem I'm just going to make edit family and now I just need to delete my cat file and I will make override the existing version and as you can see now this is our foundation and now uh, our uh, pyres so I need to add like the uh, material of this foundation again I'm just going to hit like this material cata categories let's write concrete 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 cast I think it should be here okay and I will make okay again okay. overwrite and you see now uh, this is our foundation what we are going to do now I'm just going to add uh, like bearing here so I need to draw this as a family and this I need to uh, add it again uh, I'm going to family new Oh, family. I'm just going to choose metric and metric generic. Uh, let's choose metric generic model. How metric generic model? So I'm going to open it. I'm going to uh, left or any side. I'm just going to make a reference plane for our uh, plat, uh, plat, steel plat then for the epoxy concrete of our bearing so I need to make like uh, uh, two uh, sorry it's all it's like uh, uh, half meter so I'm just going to make like uh, 100 millimeter first and then I need to make it 200 and then I will make 100 millimeter this is our reference plane just don't worry guys everything it will be should be normal and now 100 of uh, another so uh, this is what should be like uh, this is should be uh, our plate uh, steel plate and here it should be the epoxy plate so I'm just going again to a reference plane I'm just going to create a rectangle a square uh, with uh, 300 from each side so I'm just going to 1, 2, 3, 4 and trim and extend you will click like this and now this is our uh, rectangular steel plate 
I'm just going to press OK and I will go to front elevation or left where is like left uh, left view I'm just going to uh, uh, to uh, put the depth of this is uh, of this is uh, steel plate another thing I'm just going to go to do to go to reference plane I will create extrusion again I will choose like a, a plane so it will be the surface of the plate that I did it and now I'm just going to make a diameter with the radius 300 and again I'm just going to to the left elevation I will say this is the height and I will have the same plate here so I'm just going to move it to make copy from here to here I'm just to remove the constant train and this is another so I'm just going to select this and the material it should be steel so you can just choose what you want and let's choose something very fast let's say that this is metal okay and now I'm going to 3d model to see to let you see what we did here uh, again I'm just going to uh, make a epoxy concrete here uh, so I'm just going to uh, to front view from from uh, sorry uh, top view I'm just going to make again an extrusion but it's not should be it should be like sweep bl blend uh, I'm going to uh, left view I'm just going to sketch a pass here okay so we will have two profile uh, then I'm going to reference elevation I'll press ok this is the first first uh, profile it should be like same dimension of this rectangle second profile I'm just going to make some offset with let's say 10 millimeter pick line and let's make it 20 and I'm just going to make like this and press ok you see now this is our uh, let's make it more I think it's look uh, ok second profile edit I would like to make it like Hundred. Let's make it two hundred. No, it's too much. One hundred. I think it's seventy. Let's make it like this. So trim and. Extend, trim and extend, trim and extend for this side. Delete this one and press OK. So let's see uh, what I think it looks good. So I'm just going to say that this is, should be uh, concrete. Let's choose uh, concrete. Uh, any concrete you can choose. So doesn't matter. I would choose this one for now and now I'm just going to load uh, this is a family that I did it and I need to uh, put it on our uh, foundation uh, our column so I'm just going to buyers level and now I need to go to architectural component and this is the first one I would like to make like this is should be offset by two uh, meter and also another uh, two uh, meter like here i'm just going to select both of this and i will make uh, mirror and now i'm just going to check that everything on the right place you see now i'm just going to select them uh, all in this entire project and i will copy them for each uh, bridge column like this so I think it's uh, very easy for now nothing is hard 
as you can see now we have our column bridge we have our foundation burning we need to make a deck now or the beam of our bridge how we can do it i'm just going to go to file uh, go to make family then i'm just going to go to metric i will choose uh, metric metric uh, structural framing beam and braces i will press ok uh, uh, guys please you should delete these things uh, and now i already have uh, no i already need to uh, draw like uh, a, a deck for our for our bridge so i'm just going to to the right view and here i'm just going to say that i will go to extrusion uh, let's make it to the right and now uh, if you go to our levels you will understand the uh, the depth or the level it's 2500 millimeters so i'm just going to make a line 2500 millimeter to understand how i can draw our uh, beam so uh, i will make uh, it's two lane and every lane uh, should be like 3500 uh, millimeter for each car so I will make it 7,300 uh, just to make little uh, space more for the parapet of our uh, uh, bridge. So uh, you will understand it later. I'm just going to make like uh, here, uh, let's say uh, 500, and then 100 millimeter. Then I'm just going by 45 degree like this. And now I'm just going to make trim extend and I will delete this I will select them again and make mirror then I will make some offset by 500 millimeter mm -hmm. like this uh, I hope guys it's uh, clear uh, you just need to make some practice and you will understand sometimes when it will finish I will press ok and now I'm trying to make the beam of the bridge so I'm going to reference and I will say that our reference should be uh, locked in place from here to here as you can see I'm just going to lock it in the place uh, again I'm just going to load it in the project uh, like this and now I'm just going to bearing or deck level uh, I will go make VR to see what's going on I will make it to unlimited so I will go to structural as I told you this is a beam so where I can find it for beam so when I will make from here uh, to here it will be the first beam and the second it will be from here to here okay and this or you can now just make copy from because that's why you should make a grids and everything it will be very easy uh, I think the last one I will make it more so I will take the beam and I will make it uh, to here so let's go to 3d view you see now I didn't change uh, the material I will go double click and I will uh, select this again and I will make it concrete precast concrete precast as you can see loaded in the project and overwrite the existing version so you see now we have our uh, beam now what we need to do uh, do you know what we should do uh, what we should do now is to make a, a parapet like uh, what we say the parapet wall of the bridge or the uh, like, let's say the border of our bridge but it's not like this you just you need to understand this is uh, uh, this is a name parapet bridge or for the dam there is parapet for the dam doesn't matter 
I'm just going to uh, make the same procedure. I'm just going to make a new family um, because it will be on the beam. And now I'm just going to choose a uh, metric and I will go to uh, to I will go to choose uh, metric structural framing beams and braces. Again, I'm just going to delete these things. And just to make it easier for you, I already draw a CAD file and I will put it in the description. You can download it so it will be very easy for you to draw uh, the parapet of the bridge. I'm just going to answer the CAD file and here the bridge parapet very important to say that the import unit in millimeter and i will unpin this uh, cad uh, file and i will put it like this go to extrusion uh, it will be uh, the right version i will uh, right view i'm just going to uh, make extrusion tab press ok then I will go to reference plane I will move it like for the reference line and lock it in the place so you should understand why I lock it in the place so it, when I need to uh, draw it in the project it depends for the line uh, the extrusion line that I did it so now I will show you I will go to uh, deck uh, level and if I did this now I will go to to structural it will be as a beam uh, I need to delete the cat file now so uh, let's say I'm just going to road level I'm just going to uh, sorry structural beam and let's say like this level let's go it from here to here so i'm just going to uh delete the family uh, the cat the cat file i will go to the right again this is the cat file i deleted and uh, now i load it in our project again i'm just going to make a section so uh, you see this is our parapet it's not right i need to uh, make a mirror and i need to put this here so i'm just going to move it and put it here it doesn't work so if i'm just make some uh, trick i will make apply by one uh, start level offset by one millimeter then i'm just going to uh, make an offset for this and you see now this is our parapet and now I'm just going to uh, to to load it again and there is some mistake I'm just going to go to deck and now I'm just going to move it for here this is first one uh, you can mirror it to another side like this and you can see this is on another side I did it but you should make copy uh, sorry copy okay now I'm just going to draw the another parapet so I will go to beam uh, maybe I can make copy from here to here it doesn't matter I'm just make it more like this copy from here to here from and this is the last one it should be same like the first so from here to here sorry to here like this uh, now I'm just going to select this uh, parapet that I did and I will make them uh, mirror to another side let's go to the 3d view and see what we did everything is perfect but the missing thing is i need to just change the uh, the material i will go to edit double click directly to our family 
or I will go from here. From here, let me. Okay, and I will say that should be a concrete also precast and I will load it again in our project you see now we have uh, our uh, our parapet wall what we need to do is to add some some road here so I'm just going to roll I will go to a floor and here we can uh, make uh, uh, let's say edit type duplicated we will say that this is should be asphalt I will make edit and I will change the material of this as to asphalt it's already asphalt pavement press ok the thickness it should be 150 uh, millimeter or 15 centimeter press ok and now I'm just go to rectangular I will make like this maybe it should be you see now uh, this is our road there is uh, another thing we need to do it is about the piles I forget to add some piles to our project and this is the main uh, thing to a bridge to make stability for the bridge so I'm going to add piles how we can add them just we need to go to uh, a structural isolate and I will load like uh, family I will go to uh, metric a US structural uh, foundation and it should be like here uh, let's choose some some pile here I think this one uh, press ok go to foundation then I'm going again to isolated I will go choose 600 uh, let's make offset by um, let's say if 3000 let's make it offset by 1500 and now I'm just going to make a mirror I will uh, just move this by uh, let's say 3000 uh, millimeter so this is will be 3000 or 3500 I will do it again and I will make mirror again I will make a mirror sorry like this and now I'm just going to the south elevation and you see this is our pile and this is not true so I'm just going to select them all move it from here to the bottom of the piles and then just going to move inside the foundation by uh, 150 millimeter if I'm just going to a wireframe you will see that they are inside now uh, they are already inside now I'm just going to the south elevation again I'm going to uh, move to copy this piles uh, here again 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 let's go to 3d uh, uh, view and this is our uh, uh, bridge i hope uh, it was useful and interesting for you please if you like it don't forget to like and subscribe because this is will help me a lot thank you for watching and have a nice day